Is there anybody who would like to react on that? Because not everything was lost, not everything was taken away. The culture still uh, is there and is preserved. Um, is there anybody who would like to react to that? Well, yes, I would like to share some words with you on uh, this uh, last part of the discussion. First of all, regarding the uh, relationship between these objects and the power that the European institutions have, it is not really true because Africa has not produced only during colonial period. It produced before and it continued producing after, saying that 90 or 95 percent of uh, African heritage is in the Western uh, Museum is not true. This could be true only if we have that colonial perspective. And for me, that is not true. Africa continues to produce. Africa continues uh, to have a greater part of its heritage on this continent. Archaeology is a discovery every day. A contemporary production is a creativity every day. We need to look at that and uh, let's not look behind all the time. That is the trap of restitution. It's to remain having a look at the back. We are continuing moving forward. So it's not having an eye on the past that we are going to take into consideration creativity in Africa. Restitution is, of, is important. However, we should not essentialize it. Otherwise, we will forget a lot of things. And objects don't have the same importance. I want to insist on the fact that uh, objects that are exposed that have been taken from uh, 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 in colonial periods, like uh, objects exposed in Berlin, uh, objects coming from uh, Daomé or Benin, etc., shows that the return is important. Regarding the model of museum, we need to be open. I talked about insubordination right now, but I'm not the first person to talk about it. Alpha Omar Konare was the president of Mali, and he said something. We need to put an end to the model of a European museum in Africa. We need to invent something new. And it's in, in that invention that we are. Where are we going? We don't know yet, but I believe that there will be various models. We are not going to have one, only one model, a single model, but we are going to have various models. I also uh, encountered some difficulties in understanding Mr. Ndai Ndiaye when he made the difference between humanity and civilization. Civilization, sorry. I don't know any civilization that is not human. And when we say that Africa is the cradle of the humanity, it's not a matter of civilization, it's uh, a constatation. When Europe says that it's uh, the um, cradle of civilization, uh, we can all accept that all the civilizations are equal. So saying that Africa is a cradle of the humanity is a constatation. So there is no need to oppose this point of view. Or I don't know, I, I don't think that we can oppose cradle of humanity and civilization because I know there is no cradle of civilization. We have civilizations all over the place in the world. That's what I wanted to, to share with you. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, you would like to react. Is that still yeah, the case? Perhaps. <laughs> uh, it, it was just because we spoke both about and also here and the, the museum as an, as an European invention. I think that is at the moment the problem because the restitution debate is between government and government or between museum and museum and how to deal in the future with restitution of sacred objects to communities, families, uh, uh, and so on. That is what I wanted to say. But right. after that, we spoke yeah. about it. There are a lot of topics that, 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 that are covered. And unfortunately, we are reaching the end of the program uh, because of time restraints. Um, um, I would like to pose everybody with a, a final question uh, to conclude the evening. And, that is, if your museum uh, could take one concrete step in terms of restitution or exchange or collaboration, what could that actually be? I will start with you. Uh, me, me first. Um, yeah, I would say we, 
we face already the restitution of the Benin bronzes next year. So um, this will be a very important step. So the question will be, do we restitute 450 works um, or five in a symbolic way? And do we give it Back, or do we perhaps make an exchange? There was also a very nice conversation between museums colleagues from Nigeria and us um, if, if we would be interested in contemporary art from, from this country. Mm. Um, and we said, oh yes, that's a one, they have wonderful contemporary artists, but perhaps we could, could do something <coughs> like an exchange of, of artworks. Uh, and then um, it could be the next step could be, um, so finally, after waiting for such a long time, exhibiting something together or in separate countries. So I would say at the end of next year, um, we know, um, um, how we will go on, and that, that would be um, an important move for many other themes we have in common. Right. Valika? I think the same goes for us, that we've already started the conversations that we think are important. We would like to extend on that, of course, but at the moment, for example, we are working on a new exhibition on the um, uh, revolution in Indonesia that made the country independent of the Netherlands, so that is really new for a Dutch museum to be taking that approach. And in that team, we are working with um, curators in Indonesia on our working floor, and those are also the people who are involved in the restitution process. So that way we are uh, establishing new relationships in a, uh, a permanent way. Mm, thank you. Amari, uh, could I ask you the same question, in what step, concrete steps um, MCN could take? Here in Senegal, in my museum, the museum is not born from collections, so I don't have any collection. There is nothing, I don't have much to restitute. I have everything to get back, and I don't have traceable <laughs> objects. <laughs> <laughs> but is there, is there anything you could, could, could offer in collaboration or in exchange? Because I do think that we could learn from your museum as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have uh, some collections we can exchange and we are in a global space. We have a lot of museums and big collections with the government. We have also collections of Czech and Tadjob, which uh, is uh, almost everywhere in the world. And I think that we can exchange these collections. And for the rest, I believe that what is uh, important at this moment for Senegal on this restitution matter, we have a special commission which is being implemented and that commission will help the decision makers to uh, look at this issue, identify the object and set up a methodology. So we are working on it. And uh, in principle, that commission will be set up in two in three weeks time. Uh, that commission will help the government in the sub-regional perspective, that is ECOWAS perspective, and regional perspective with the African Union in order to have a common position. I think the objective will not be to empty, uh, to take everything from Western Museum, but to set up uh, a good collaboration and learn what exists in those museums and find out how, in an organized way, what should be brought back in uh, following a timeline. So it's time for discussion, for exchanges. I was very moved by the difficulties that our uh, German colleagues are encountering in their museums. The, uh, uh, what is uh, being said in the public opinion and which has an impact on the museum, all this is complicated. Uh, you have to be strong enough to continue this fight and do the work, what is being done, according to me. Thank you.